What the heck is poppin' my wild apple gangers? It is that green water day with another episode of Bug Fables. I am so happy to be here today. Um playing this game again. Uh so we've just started chapter six and it's assault on rubber prison. Uh so we need to go to the Golden Settlement uh, Tunnel to actually progress in the story, but today, today I think we got some quests to do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh yeah, there's quests available. Sure, sure. My Mecha Claw Butler missing again, and they took her. Um. Okay. 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 Um, so. Uh, let's start with this. Can't someone drop one? They stole my prototype. Oh, okay. Let's go to Defiant Root. Okay. So, actually, guys, something very cool um, before we go to Defiant Root. This ant. Once chapter 6 starts, uh, has an exclamation point above their head. And when you talk to them, they go, Oi, Team Snake Mouth, during an attack, a piece of the main crystal fell off. We turned it into a pretty nifty tool for you. Would you mind testing it? Ant Compass. This compass always points back towards the ant kingdom. Use it to quickly find your way back. This compass always points you to this big crystal. Use it whenever you want to travel back here. There's quite a few tunnels leading back here already. The compass will take you to them. So let's say you can use this pretty much in any place where you can like dig, like in any spot where you can dig, um, and you, you go into your items, you go to your key items, I would recommend you to put it, to change it to the first slot so that when you switch to key items and you want to use your ant compass, you can just, uh, you can just use it and you just ask to you, would you like to return the ant mines? And you say yes, and you can go back to the ant mines. It's so awesome. It's so good for backtracking. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. And as much as I'm sad that you only get at the start of chapter six, I'm, I'd rather have it than not have it at all. You know, like this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So let's go talk to uh, a person's name who I forgot, but. They are in the bazaar area. They want their mecha claw back. Remember, they were they were bragging and showing it off to us, and I guess it got stolen. Where's my claw? Whoa, chill out. You're in gear, right? You lost that claw thing? Grr, yes, those darn wasps. I'm sure they're responsible. Wouldn't one sooner blame the bandits? As if those uncultured criminals would know the value of my claw. Heck, if it wasn't the wasps, they hired the bandits to do it. That's not much of a clue, is it? Look, it's gotta be in that kingdom, or the far grasslands. If anyone can find it, it's explorers, right? Why not? We shall recover your claw! I think that was Leaf that said that. Ooh, yeah! I don't know if I've mentioned this, but, um, when you do your dash with Kabu now, I believe, I don't think it could do this before, but look, it can knock the enemy around, uh, whenever you dash with Kabu, because, you know, it's gotten, like, stronger, so you smack the enemy. So, this is really useful for backtracking, because you're just dashing, and if, and, and if, you know, um, you have, sure, you can equip Bug Me Not, but if you don't, if the enemy is too, like, uh, gives you too much XP and Bug Me Not doesn't work, you know, you can just mow right through the enemy instead of being, uh, locked into an encounter with them. Uh, can I get up here? Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, anyways, that's pretty cool. So, so we're at the start, of the uh, far grasslands entrance right here, and let's go to the left because we tried going to the left one time, but we were met with roadblocks, I believe. So we go up here, and then there's this room, and there's these rocks. That we can now smash through with Kabu, and that was what was holding us back in this room. 
was these rocks because we didn't have the ability to break through, but now we can break through. Uh, anything around here? Anything down here? No, not really. Grab a mushroom. Kind of tight jump, not really. Uh, break through this. Go this way. Break through this. Oh, frick. You could just... Oh, you could go up this way to, uh... To... This is where the... This is where the frickin' far grasslands, uh... Ant mine tunnel goes to, so you can just do that instead. I don't know why I... Did all that, but... Whatever, I guess. Um... Uh, maybe go over here. And I believe, if, yeah, this is just this room. There's nothing here! Is this truly a dead end? We can feel some faint magic in this place, but there's nothing we can do now. Let's return later? Okay, so you go over here. And then you can grab the mechanical claw in this room. Uh, it's just hidden behind that bush. That got me, actually. I had no idea where the hell to find it. But, guys, check this out. We just... We just got that thing we needed? We can go to the ant mines with the ant compass, and boom, we're back. Just like that. In fact, we're going so fast that I can talk to you guys instead of cutting the footage. Because we're just gonna be back in tippity-top shape. I love it. I love it. What is the point in making your character just walk for no reason? Give your player, like, options like this. It's great. It's so much more fun to do qu quests when you can just, uh, you know, move around like this and stuff. You know, don't have to do that mindless backtracking. It's great. Anyways, we found your claw. Yes! I missed you so much. Fits you very well, Angira. Can you make us something cool with it? Um, well, it'll take a bit, but I do have this prototype. Reflection Metal! The equipped allies do nothing command increases defense for one turn. This is a interesting metal. Uh, for sure. It can be pretty good. Uh... If you're going for like weird taunt defensive strategies, I don't know what the heck you'd be doing with it, but you could probably do some weird strategies with it, and I think it's pretty cool metal. Another metal to add to our do nothing uh, metals list, which is cool. Uh, yeah, and obviously you can stack them all on each other and make your character overpowered by doing nothing. <laughs> This'll do thanks. If you think that metal's good, wait until you see what, what I'll make with my claw. Well, I appreciate that. Quest complete. Next quest. Uh, Butler missing again? Or they took her? Let's do this one. This one's pretty tame, I think. Um, visit me on Metal Island, please. Okay, we'll be right there. Yeah, and at this stage of the game, you can just, like, move from place to place to do your quest super quickly now that you have the ant compass. Uh, and all those ant mine locations opened up. So I'm trying to find this person. I don't know where they are very much. Oh, looks like they're over here. Okay. Hello there. Hey, uh, are you the Lost Sister's, uh, sister? I, I have some tech to be. Partner, we're explorers who took your request. Uh, I get it now, thank you. So, what happened exactly? Uh, my sister's super strong and brave. She's always taking care of me. I saw her taking a walk with this wasp. I trust her, so I didn't get worried, but... She hasn't come back. She must have been kidnapped. How did a wasp make it here? This place hasn't been a target at all. Matters not. We have someone to rescue. I ever heard them mention the wasp kingdom. They've got to be near it. It's my turn to be brave for sis. I'll meet you in the far grassland's entrance. Wait, you're going too? We'll be right there. Please be careful. Alright, yeah, we will be right there. Alright, so here we are at the far grassland's entrance. Hello there. Hey, I made it. Uh, we could have ex escorted you, you know. It's okay, I gotta be brave to rescue sis. I'll ask to accompany you here from the wasp kingdom, at least. Alright, let's go. It'll be fine, just stay behind us. Uh, which way do you go? 
Is it to the right? I believe it is, yeah. Uh, so our goal is just to go towards the... We need to find the Wild Swamplands entrance. Is where we're going right now. Um, and I'll show you why. I think we gotta go through this little place. And, yeah, so we're in this room. Oh, look, Madeline's here. But, <laughs> we're not gonna deal with you just yet. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know she was here, to be honest. Actually, I did. That was a lie. Um... So, yeah, we just gotta... What the? You know... Let's just say... Okay. This is really fucking annoying, because my whole screen is getting covered up by this dumb person's face. I'm gonna go, like, diagonal. That's better for, like, a second, and then you're just gonna cover up my screen again, you dumb... Stupid bitch. I hate you. Okay, finally. That takes a little bit too long to get across, in my opinion, although, to be fair, it wouldn't... It would be kind of weird if it, if that river wasn't, like, if that river was really short, you know? Um, whoa, look over here. Sis, get away from her, you, um, kidnapper, Bumble? What, kidnapper? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb, you stole her sister. What? But Rebel is my... Bumble, what the heck? You're ruining my date. Date? The wasp trooper? Oh, dear. You have a date? You didn't say anything. I thought you'd... I was trying to do something spontaneous for fun, okay? Sure, I invited her here, and she said yes. Please understand, tensions have been running high. Who cares about all those politics? We just want to be together. Why don't you tell me? I, uh, I thought you wouldn't approve, so... Of course I do. You support me in everything. Wow, your sister is cool, Rebel. We're sorry for this misunderstanding. No, it's my bad. I should have told you, Bumble. Guess everything's fine then. Still, we could probably stay at Middle Island until the conflict dies down. Yeah, right, I guess. We spent some good time here anyways. Thanks for caring about R Rebel so much. Here's a little something. TP Blush Metal! Increase the party's TP by three. They're cool, dude. Sorry for the scare. I, I get that a lot. We'll get going now then. Take care. Um, I'm always happy to have a TP Plus Metal, but it's kind of a shame that you get this one so late you can buy some of them from marib but like gosh it's like i don't know i think i don't like how the tp pluses are distributed in this game really um so that gives you more of a cent in more of an incentive to upgrade your tp because there's not a lot of tp pluses and they're kind of spread a lot throughout the game, and you can't get a lot of them super early, so, you know. Uh, I mean, metal points is still superior, in my opinion. I'd rather go all metal points than uh, all TP. Although all TP can be good, because you can spam Leaf's Ice Rain, you know? <laughs> uh, ah, it's you, we made again. So it goes, Seb's lost again? Pretty much, we were sightseeing the swamp, and when I turned around, he was gone. Sightseeing in the swamp. Uh, he's incorrigible. I have no idea what that means, guys. I'm gonna look that up right now. Incorrigible. Incorrigible. Uh, of a person or their tendencies not able to be corrected, improved, or reformed. Okay. Yeah, thanks for whipping out the big words on me, you... Uh... What's the word? You sophisticated bastard. Uh, Madeline, why would you think this was a place to take in sights? I've heard of the leaf bugs living here. I wanted to meet them personally. But yes, there is also full of monsters and murky water. They didn't mention that. Blasted tourist agencies. <laughs> well, it's fine. We'll get them back. This time I shall accompany you. But do not worry. I can handle myself. And I may even get to see some leaf bugs. And I can't stay here worrying about Seb. It's mortifying. So let's go into the swamp. This isn't just a leisure trip, you know. Easy there, we'll get through this just fine. Yes, we will. Uh, 
the issue is that I do not remember where Seb is at all. Actually, I think I do remember where Seb is. And I think we actually have to go fairly deep into this area. Which is kind of annoying. Um, but basically, we're just going to be progressing through the swamp. Like, nothing much to it. Um, our progress is going to be a lot faster, obviously. Uh, you know, there was an encounter right there. Uh, just to play it safe. I'm glad I remember where all these enemies are, actually. There's like an archer right around here somewhere. Uh, never mind, I guess. I guess we're when I remember there being an archer there, but, uh, whatever. And as you can see, you can just do that. Oh, I don't think we were supposed to go this way. But, uh, that's, that's the cool thing. You can smash that boulder, because you don't get that, uh, skill until, uh, until once you fall down that bridge, you know? Um, so here's the thing. Which way do I have to go? I think I want to go down here. Oh. I literally just can't go down here? Oh, what is this? Oh, I can go down here. I don't know if that was intended, but you probably could have just gone, like, around or something. Do I even want to be down here? Like, what the hell am I... What the hell am I doing? Don't tell me I'm gonna have to do, like, a bunch of puzzles and crap. Um... If you go up this way... Is this the no, this is the last room. So you'd have to go this way. Seb, dear, are you in here? Wait for us. Alright, so I've just been, like, running around like a headless chicken, pretty much. But I, I, I knew what room it was. I knew it was this room. With the lily pads. I think he's in this corner where I predicted that there was gonna be a magic seed. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Seb! Milady, I'm deeply sorry for abandoning you once again. Yeah, jeez. Relieve your safe, but must you keep causing me so much trouble, Milady? Please, how can I make up for this mistake? Um, when I return home, you shall make your legendary delicious treats. I'll not let you down. Thank you once again, Team Snake Mouth. I'm in your debt once more. No problem, you can repay it now if you wanna. <laughs> Grumble. A bit dangerous here. Would you, uh, visit me at my residence? I live just next to the Explorers Association. Gotcha, let's ha leave this dreadful place then. I'll make sure Seb, Seb does not get lost again. Don't mind us. I will follow you every step. See you later, takes Team Snake Meth. And, oh wow, they just let us return to the Ant Kingdom. And they take us right here, which is like, oh my gosh, perfect. So basically what she was talking about, you go up here, and whoa, this door is open. There's a lore book on the table, which I can probably grab, I don't know if I can. Explorers, I'm so happy to see you visiting. I haven't shown you proper gratitude for saving Seb twice. I can only hope that this is enough. 30 berries. Please visit anytime you wish. Help yourself to some tea. Uh, okay. Well, that's that. Um... Give me your tea, bitch. Uh... Is that quest complete? It is. And guys, finally, um, I'm able to address this quest. It's too hot. Uh, we got this like in chapter four or something, I don't know. Whoa, it, has it always been this hot in here? I can't even step outside. I'm practically trapped in the Defiant Root Museum. Anyone around to hear me out? Thanks in advance. Um, so, like I said earlier, there's three items you can give for this quest. Uh, let's talk to her first. She's in here. Ah, it's too hot. Isn't there an ancient fan in here? Er, no. You must be a Remy. Ah, yep, that's me. How may we help you combat this heat spell? Lee, freeze her up! Whoa, what a nice breeze. Mission complete. Pay up! Wait, it's already hot again. I'm super thankful, but I need something that will last after you're gone. Mm, 
Perhaps an umbrella or some sort of ointment to shield you from the sun's rays. Take anything, really. Please, I'm begging you. So much for the easy check. We'll find something, so sit tight. Try not to uh, work yourself up until then. So, here, the three items you can give her is a magic ice, which, you know, you can buy in the bazaar area. That's the worst one. You get, like, 20 berries or something for that. I don't know. I don't know the exact rewards. You can give her a shell ointment, which, um... If you give her shell ointment, uh, you can get that. The earliest you can get that is on Metal Island from that weird old guy who like sold you random items, but he didn't tell what tell you what they were. Uh, and I'm just kind of okay. So um, I don't know if the magic ice or the shell ointment gives more berries, but anyways, the point is. Because now that we've talked to her, we're going to go back to Madeline. Alright, so we're back back here. Um, talk to Madeline. Now that we've talked to, uh... Alright, I mean, you could have talked to her earlier, of course. Uh, and she goes, Welcome, anything I can help with? Uh, we were wondering if you could lend us one of your umbrellas. The heat's starting to get to you, huh? You're in luck, I do have this old one I no longer use. It's all yours. You got a leaf umbrella! One of Madeline's old umbrellas protects the wearer from harsh sunlight. It is. It, or wait, it is? You must let us pay you for it. No, sir, no. The least I can do after you have helped me so much. Thank you, it'll really help us out. Yes, it will. So we basically got a lore book and a leaf umbrella out of that quest. Let's go back to a Remy. Oh yeah, also this uh, ant statue is back up. Uh... When did that happen? I have no idea. But it happened at some point. Okie dokie, here we are. Hello, Remy. So, we're gonna give her the leaf umbrella, because that is the best thing. If you have the patience uh, to do it, then here you go. Leaf umbrella! Wow, that umbrella's beautiful. It's one of a kind, but perfect for your needs. Don't I look cute? <laughs> Super cute. Now to seal the deal. You must have gone through such a hassle. I hope this makes up for it. 50 berries, which is really nice, actually. Oh, and take this to Reflection Metal again. The equipped allies do nothing command increases defense for one turn. Um, here's the thing about having two res two reflection medals. I don't know if having two of them on the same bug increases your defense by two, which would be super good, or if it does increases it by one for two turns um i guess i'll have to test it out in battle but basically you might be wondering if you don't give her the leaf umbrella she doesn't give you this medal so you might be wondering how do you get it uh because you don't get it from her uh you'll be able to buy it from the traveling caravan uh they'll have it like in stock in the traveling caravan and you'll be able to buy it from there so do not worry you can always get this um you can always get this metal even if you were impatient which if you want to do some reflection strats i would recommend you to be impatient but i didn't think you know i didn't need it you know whoa you sure about giving us this much yeah it's a lot this umbrella will last me more than tw more than 20 ointments that's okay we are grateful, Miss Remy. We hope you have cooler days ahead. Thank you all so much. I'll get going now. Nice. Quest complete. And now we have no more quests on the quest board. And our only quest in the quest book is Lost Books. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Let's head back to the library, actually. Alright. Hey there, kind of turns discoveries. I, I doubt we have enough discoveries. Yeah, we have 39. Dang. Oh, wait, we do. Uh, we got crystal berry for 35 discoveries. Uh, anyways, we got two lore books for you. One. Two. Any others? No. Alright, let's do some reading, boys. Uh, family structures and social bugs. Bugs can be classified into two types, social and loners. Whoa, dude. Uh, social bugs usually have a single queen, the mother of the colony. Although all individuals are siblings, they do not tend to see it that way. 
So if you're ever wondering uh, about the how like V has a quote unquote sister, but technically she sisters with all the other bees, you know, but that's not really how they see it. Some individuals grow closer to others by choice, creating their own small family cell. Social bugs are separated into workers or civilians. Uh, workers are born to protect and take care of running the colony. Workers take their job very seriously and will fulfill their duties the best they can. Recently, some workers have rebelled to a loner life. This too could be an evolution. Like V. Civilians form family bonds more easily and care for the general well-being of their colony. It should be noted that social bugs referring to their queen as mother is considered a taboo. Interesting. Queen, however, has freedom to call others their children. Weird. Very weird. Very, very weird. Something about the pollen collected from Bulgarian flowers causes the honey produced here to be super sweet but also super volatile. The honey is mixed too thick or heated up too much, it becomes alive and turns into a being called an Obama honey. Scientists are still trying to figure out what causes the honey to turn into these beasts. Many tests point towards crystal fragments of the plants of Bulgaria being the culprit, but there's no conclusive proof. Ah. Uh Okay, neat. And that's of course referring to Obama honeys. You know, if you cook them, they can go crazy or whatever. But that's pretty neat. I think I'll show. Uh, I think I'm going to test the double reflection metals now, and I'm gonna see if it raises your defense by two or if it raises, um, or if it just gives you two defense. Or one defense for two turns. Alright. Let's just get into a battle here. And let's see. Is V's defense going to get raised by two or one for two turns? And to me, it looks like that means she's got plus two defense. Um, but let's just make sure that's what that means uh let's uh relay to v because that doesn't actually like you know that doesn't um let's 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 just see okay let's just see wait why is leaf doing why does leaf do three damage there uh oh he, i think he has a uh I think Leaf. How is that an awesome? I d I think. Okay, guys, when you use two reflections, you get plus two defense for one turn, and that is incredible. I mean, you can do so much with that. Could you imagine Kabu in the back, taunt plus back support plus do nothing. And then you get a free attack every turn on a single target attacker. And Kabu just keeps tanking hit after hit after hit. It sounds ridiculous. So if you get two reflection medals, I would recommend you to play around with some reflection strategies. Because this is a uh, awesome medal for sure. Why am I running from this battle? Because I don't feel like fighting you. I just wanted to test this. So that's really cool, guys. Um, it's really valuable. We just got both reflection medals this episode, so that's pretty sweet. Um, anyways, yeah, I would recommend you to use it on Kabu, though, uh, of course. And we'll de-equip all this stuff. But, um, do I want to do anything else this episode? Oh, I knew what I want to do. Alright, so we're back here at the Association, the Explorers Association. Jen and Mary are still chilling about here. Go to Artis! Uh, so we killed the beast, and what do we get? Reverse Toxin Metal. Being poisoned heals the equipped ally instead, however, it reduces defense by one while poisoned. Oh my 
gosh, is that a good medal? Is that a good medal or what? Oh my gosh, I didn't go to... I didn't go to Artis after I killed Zomoth, are you kidding me? You get such a good medal here. Block heal medal. If the equipped ally performs a super block, they heal 1 HP. Okay, okay, so let's talk about reverse toxin first. How much TP is it? I don't remember. It's 3, which I think is fair. Because you heal 1 HP every turn, uh, instead of taking damage, you heal 1 HP every turn. But you have one less defense. So you're basically... You're basically taking one less damage every turn. But if you don't take any damage, then you're healing. Basically what I'm trying to say is that... Having one less defense but healing instead of taking damage is going to be... Much better than taking damage every turn. So, it just adds to the overpoweredness of poison strategies. I mean, look at how many poison metals we have. Uh, don't include poison resistance, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven poison metals that you can equip on one bug and just absolutely destroy and rip and tear with. And the thing is, is if you got two poison defenders equipped, you still have one more defense anyways even if this gets rid of one defense so you're still going to be tanking hits like a mother fricker so basically what i'm trying to say is poison is absolutely overpowered pretty much at every stage of the game it's never bad to go for poison strats even if this is kind of expensive you know like it's still overpowered at the end of the day like what what, what do you want me to say Anyways, let's talk about block heal now. So block heal is four metal points, which I think is pretty fair. So if you super block, you get one HP back. Um, so you're like, okay, well, how is this better than super block plus? Well, first of all, if you take no damage, uh, while you super block, you heal one health instead of just taking zero damage. So it's better than it in that way. Um, and how else is it better than, uh, super block plus? If you super block an attack that you die from, if you super block an attack that you die from, that kills your guy, they live at one health. So if you can hit every single super block in battle, with this metal equipped, if you hit super blocks every time, you're, the enemies physically can't kill you. Which is... Um... It's ridiculous, you know? Obviously, like... You'd have to be, like, really practiced. So maybe not quite as OP for, like, a casual player like me or you. But for, like, I don't know, like, a really skilled player. Like, this is... That's very absurd that you can do that and if you get hit by a multi-hit move you might be wondering all you have to do is super block the last hit of the multi-hit move and you'll uh live the attack it's very it's very strange honestly I, it's really cool that block heal can do that and i think for that it's worth four metal points just the fact that if you super block you can live any hit so it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a, like a death dodge in that way. Like sometimes if, you know, if you, if you're clutching up, you can just avoid death, which is awesome. Okay. So now that we've talked about those, I want us to go back to the, um, I want us to go back to the uh, outskirts of Bulgaria because we're gonna be doing some crystal berry hunting, I think. Alright, so we're at uh, this place over here. I think Chuck's house is right over to the left here. And hello, Chuck. Um. You can smash this boulder over here. I don't know why I didn't like wait and stop to say that before I did it, but I did it already. So now you can go back here and wow, we can see his house from a whole different perspective. 
He found a crystal berry. I don't know if we've already done this dialogue, but I love this. So this is Chuck's abode. Uh-huh. I think he calls it a hut, though. Is there really any difference? For someone so well-spoken to make such a basic mistake. What? It's just such a shame. Stop playing games, Leaf. Tell me the difference. I demand it. Ah, there's no time. We'll tell you later. No! <laughs> I just like that. You know, while we're here... Why not just have a rest at Chuck's place? We're just a, we're just a good old time. Did he say Leaf gets the hammock? That's that's based. All right, so I'm in the Golden Settlement here, and we're just gonna go to the right of the ant mines entrance. And you'll notice that there's this breakable rock, which has always been here. You can smash through it. Dig spot on the ground. And a lore book. Sweet. Alright, I'll see you guys back at the ant mines. Oh, wait. I don't even have to cut here. Because we're already right here and we can turn this lore book in. Like, what's even the point of cutting? I'm already here. Because the ant compass is just so great. Alright, turn in this lore book. Berries as currency. It is unknown how long bugs have been using these specific types of berries as currency, but it is a very effective method. Hard, long-lasting, and very bitter, these berries are almost never eaten for their horrible taste. Diana dis- or is it Diana or Diane? I think it's Diana. Diana disagrees with you <laughs> on that front. Uh, their small size is perfect for carrying them around, too. Uh, there have been recorded cases of some bugs actually enjoying the taste of bear eating these berries. Yep. Diana. But almost no one can stomach their taste. Pretty neat stuff, honestly. Um, anyways. Alright, so now that chapter 6 has started, I'm interested if there's any new... Metals. <laughs> From the underground tavern, and right as I say that, front support shows up. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Front support. Ever heard of back support, which I already said was a fantastic metal? That increases your def the person in the back's defense by one. This one increases the person in the front's defense by one. Who just so happens to be the person that gets targeted 60% of the time and does plus one damage so you might be like okay it's kind of nice to have front support much more than it is to have back support and you'd be totally right you might be asking what's the catch it's eight metal points eight metal points what the heck back support's already five metal points this is eight metal points that's an absurd absurdly high uh cost but it's because it's a good metal but like it's not always worth it you know and now that chapter 6 has started, I believe this wasn't available before. Actually, maybe it was. I'm not sure. But defense exchange is also available, which increases your defense by one, but reduces your attack by one. Um, It's good if you have some weird defense strategy. I don't know. Like, if you just want to stack defense on your guy and become a super tank, like, go for it. And I don't, I don't care. Uh, poison touch. If the equipped ally is attacked directly while poisoned, the attacker has a chance of getting poisoned. This is a pretty bad metal. Uh, I would not recommend you to use it because also you're... First of all, you have to get attacked directly. Second of all, you have to be poisoned, which okay, poison, like that's not that bad because, you know, poison shreds are OP or whatever. Uh, but third of all, you only have a chance... You have to get attacked directly, and it's just a chance to poison them. Like, what's the point? Who cares? It's, it's not that. It's not that deep, bro. Electric needles. Five crystal berries grants numbing power to these needle skills. That is a very good metal right there, as well as the other needles skills. Uh, are there any other metals available for us? Let me check. I think those are all of the medals available to me from here. Okay guys, so I was just looking at the wiki and Poison Touch and Defense Exchange were available in Chapter 5. So I'm a complete doo-doo dunder fart, like what the heck is actually wrong with my brain? But, Front Support and Electric Needles, 
are available at the start of chapter 6. So in that way, I'm not a doo-doo dunderbrain. But I think I'm going to be copying front support as well as electric needles. I think these are two metals that I'm going to use. Give me front support. It's trust me. I think I think we'll put in work with front support. And I want electric needles now. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh! Please, how many times? I'm putting. I'm like editing in how many times I had to re. This is absurd. This is absurd. Oh my gosh, that took so many times to get what I wanted. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's that's done with. We have electric needles and um, front supports. Yep, as you can see, it's eight metal points. I was not lying to you. It is eight metal points. That is stupid, but I think it's pretty balanced. Uh, electric needles is three metal points. I think that's pretty fair. Basically, you can numb. You have a chance to numb uh, guys with these needle skills, and. Uh, I guess I might as well grab, um, Marib's shop is right here, actually. Uh, oh, hey, Kenny. Have I not talked to you here? We meet again, friend. May we ask your name? Oh, hey there, it's Kenny. You're V-Kabu and Leaf, correct? Word gets around. We're surprised it took you this long to reach the Ant Kingdom. It's quite cozy and bustling. Many cultures come together here. But before you ask, I don't think I'll stay here either. It's a long search, huh? Everywhere I've been to is wonderful. I just wish to see more. Well, let's meet up again later. I don't know how I didn't talk to Kenny here, but whatever. Uh, status relay? When relaying... Oh. Oh, this is it. This is a pretty good metal. When relaying, the equipped ally will transfer all status effects and charges to the relayed ally. You can use this on like a bulky guy to like with a lot of health to like hard charge and then status relay to another guy you know so basically you would hard charge with the guy um the guy you want to get that hard charge would relay to the person with the hard charge and then the person with the hard charge would relay back to the person who you want to have the hard charge and then they can attack and that makes it so that uh, instead of the person who wants to use the hard charge losing 5 health, the other guy loses 5 health instead. So that's a pretty cool strategy you can do with status relay. So it's a pretty interesting metal. I think there might be other use cases for it too. Uh, show me more metals here. Of course there's TP+. Plus. There's also uh, Prayer. The equipped allies do nothing, so that's a lot of do nothing strategies, and that's probably like absurd, you know. Sleepy needles. Uh, okay, guys. So I, so I was just checking on the wiki. Basically, uh, status relay is available at the start of chapter five, which is why I never saw it. And uh, prayer as prayer and sleepy needles are available at the start of chapter six which is pretty neat uh so that's why i never saw stat or status relay and that's why i never saw prayer or sleepy needles sleepy needles oh my gosh grab sleepy needles for the love of god please grab sleepy needles um because i'm going to be using some uh needle strats and we're gonna look for more metals here because i want uh, another needle yes Poison needles grants poison power to these needle skills. So I think these are all three metal points. Maybe sleep, maybe poison ones worth two. I'm hoping. I'm praying that the poison one is worth two. Nope, they're all worth three. So it's nine metal points to equip all of these. But I want you to think about it. All of these metals, when you equip them have a chance to activate when V uses her needle skills so you can just spam needle skills and maybe you'll just maybe you'll just get lucky man and you'll just poison them or you'll sleep them or you'll sleep and poison them or you'll just like whatever you'll numb them I don't know 
you can just stack all of these together and it's stupid. Uh, should I grab another prayer medal? I think I'll grab, uh, the other prayer medal. Because I might want to mess around with some, like, weird strats with do nothing, because I think it might be kind of fun. And while we're here, let's grab the meditation medal as well. That's available at the start of chapter 4. Okay, so I'm officially broke now, but how much money is in my bank is the real question. Why didn't I go to the left there? I don't know. But, let's check out our bank account anyways. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh my gosh, eighteen hundred berries. Withdraw. Oh, withdraw one hundred. Thank you. Thanks for the one hundred berries, near Later. Yep, that's. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. The you just leave your berries on the bank and. You let them sit there and you just get free money, man. It's free money. Uh. But. I think that might just about do it for this episode. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do. Yeah, so I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We got a lot done today. A lot of cool new stuff opening up to us after chapter 6 starts. Yeah, once you get through this chap- once you get to this chapter, I think it's just- it's just wonderful, really. Like, you have so much stuff open to you. So many medals. So many new, like, things for you to do, I guess. So, I don't really know. This is maybe my favorite chapter in the game. So, I hope you guys, uh, look forward to the next stuff coming up. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later.